before I joined the Youth Challenge Academy, I was not doing good in school. I was, you know, uh, I was using marijuana and really just not doing good choices, like as in trying to succeed in life, basically. So before that, it was more of uh, just get by the day type of thing. And I didn't really think anything of it. I, I always thought, you know, I can do this later. I can, you know, get by. But it really wasn't how I thought it was going to be, you know. Uh, when, when, I, when I was in junior year, they had told me that I was failing my classes and that I would need to do something about it. So my my attendance, like from from the Davis attendance, they told me that I would need to join a program or something to get my credits up. And that's when I seen the, the Youth Academy. And at first I was like skeptical of joining because, you know, it was it was different, but um, I joined and I got my eight credits and now I'm doing better. I don't do marijuana anymore. I don't do bad choices and I'm on track to graduate. So when I joined the Youth Challenge Academy, I, I expected it to be like something that I could just get by, you know, just go through, get my eight credits. But it, re it really wasn't like that at first. At first, it was very hard for the first two weeks of acclimation. And I never expected it to feel like that because I, I thought it was just um, just something that I was going to get by. I thought it was going to be easy, but it really wasn't. To be able to do that, it, it takes a strong-minded person to do something like that, to go out of their comfort zone and be able to you know, step up to the challenge. And mostly, yeah. well, I expect I did expect some some uh, struggles that I was gonna go through. Mostly because everybody talked of it in a worse way. Like the the challenge was the youth academy. They said it was hard and and. Um, that it was more like a boot camp, but it really wasn't. It wasn't that hard once I got through it. And like after the first two weeks, it got easier and easier. So life at the Youth Challenge program was, it was very um, well organized. Like uh, before the Youth Challenge Academy, I had no organization in my life. Like I was just doing randomly things throughout the day. And the youth challenge gave me a, a schedule basically to follow through through the day. So I would know what I was going to do the, the next day and I would be prepared for it. And it really taught me how preparing for the next day can be easier so you don't have to be rushing basically for the next day. And you're not all scrambled on what you need to do. And basically get your whole life planned out one week at a time. Okay, so uh, we would wake up at 4.45 in the morning and then we would have 15 minutes to be up dressed and out for uh, PT, uh, physical training. And then after, Physical training would take about an hour, and we would go back to our, um, what do you call it? Our, you know, our bunks and place, and we would get ready for, for the day. Basically, we would um, do showers, we would get dressed. Whether it was a, uh, if we had school for the first two weeks, we didn't dress up in our uniforms because. Um, we didn't have school, but like once we we're already, we dressed up in our uniform, 
and we went to breakfast and then our first class started after breakfast. So we would have that first class for about an hour and then we would have the second class and then lunch. Uh, and then we would have the, we would have lunch basically. And then we'd have our last class and then we would go back to to um, our bunks. And then it was depending on which day, because Fridays we didn't have school. And um, what's it called? We would either, if we had time to organize our bunks or do anything, we wouldn't have any time off. We would just, if there was something that needed to be done, then it had to be done. Um, so like, Certain days we'd had laundry and other days we had um, like um, like training training skills. I think that's what it used to be. But uh, it was more of like, uh, like you would know what you do each day. And I don't know. Really, um, it was, I can't, I can't really remember. Uh, so it prepared me for where I am today by showing me organization and life skills about, um, you know, being, what's the word? Prep, basically. Like, you're prepped for whatever you can take on for the day, whatever needs to be done can be done. And if you have the will to do it, then it will, you will do it. But you still need to have that strong mind to be able to do what you can do to, to, to succeed basically. And it's helped me a lot with my, um, with my uh, my mental strength, basically, um, yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, yes, I made friends while I was at the academy. Mostly, everybody there was a friend. Everybody there was friends to each other. Nobody was really left out of anything. There was. It was new for me because it was a hard, hard thing for me to make friends. And when I went to the academy, at first, I didn't, I didn't think of, about making any friends. I didn't think I was going to be friends with everybody that I was friends with. Well, basically, I was friends with everybody. But it was, it was different. Um, yeah. So my relationship with my cadre was, it was different from where they weren't trying to to help me be comfortable. They were trying to get me out of my comfort zone instead of, you know, telling me something is right when it's really wrong. And they're really a big help to me being there as a person and um, they were, they weren't like, um, how do you say it? They weren't, they were straight up basically. Like if, um, if they knew I could do it, they, they were very motiva motivational towards all the, all the, um, the, the students basically and they really helped a lot not as much as I like but I I do stay in contact with some you know once in a while and message throughout because um, we have um, I have most of my friends on social media and you know I'll say hey once in a while how are you doing 
and all that. But, um, you know, we're still friends, but it's like long distance, you know. Today I am doing, finishing the last of my high school, which I will graduate in June. And I'm working a front desk job at a motel until I, um, you know, finish school. Mostly I'm trying to get into a trade school for automotive engineering. And yeah, that's what I'm doing very much. This program did help me very much. Um, it enlightened me in ways that I never thought I would be able to accept. Um, it gave me um, a new way of doing life, a different way. Um, it was better for me because, you know, I could, um, I got out of my habits, you know, got out of my comfort zone. Even though it was for, for nine weeks, it, it did a lot. Uh, I wish I would have been there for the whole, you know, the whole six months to see how, how it would have been then. But, um, you know, just in the, in those nine weeks, it did teach me a lot about life. I would definitely recommend this program. This program is, it is, um, I, I don't want to say hard because it really is not, you can get through it if you're willing to.